Welcome back to my channel. This is Mukilum and this is actually a video about my life in Korea in past four years. And the last video that I've done about Korea was like two years ago. Am I lazy to make a video? No, I just didn't know that I should have made one. But somehow today I decided to make one because I am senior and I just finished my I don't know which semester but I have one more left so I am kind of like excited to share with you my experience tell you about like why Korea and why I'm still here and am I going to be here and why so let's begin basically my name is Mukaddas if you cannot pronounce it that's why I call myself not I didn't call myself my friends call me Muki so you can call me Muki or Muka um, I applied to UNIST because I didn't have any option and I really wanted to run up, run away from the situation that I had in my life. I was kind of stuck. Uh, after my high school, I kind of... I went to China. I really loved this um, experience of just, just going, like moving out because I really didn't like the place where I lived in. My country yeah because I was very like I'm a girl maybe for you it's like oh so what like in my country it's very conservative for like girls are like oh you cannot study why you should study don't study science what no so yeah I really felt like I couldn't stay there so I after China I really didn't like staying in China so I was like okay I think I got homesick by the end, like after kind of a year. So I'm like, I'm going back home. I know what I will do. I will just apply to like this top science school in my in my country and I will work and I will be like, wow, wow, wow. But it took me three days to be like done. And I already got admission to my university and, and, I, and I got all the like full scholarship. And I kind of quit that. So after three days, I was like, no, I need to get out of here. So I emailed back China. They said, excuse me, you kind of didn't reply to us if you like really want to continue studying or not. So we gave up your scholarship to somebody else. I was like, no, what am I going to do? And then I remember that my friend from Pakistan, he told me that I could apply to Kaist and Eunice and like those schools like S SNU, like Singapore one. So. I was like, okay, let's just apply, even though I was not sure that I will pass. And I was actually planning to go to KAIS because it sounds like, oh, KAIS, it's like top school. So uh, I applied to UNIST, but my plan was to apply to KAIS in like next year. So I was preparing for SATs and stuff. So, so actually, I couldn't wait because. I was um, kind of studying for SATs and then I realized that for me to take SAT it needs like two or three months and I couldn't wait I couldn't stay there so I was praying praying to to pass to units so actually the day that I passed I was so happy and I didn't tell to all of my family members I just told my mom and my my favorite aunt rest in peace uh, and on my birthday christmas after one month when i received my results like everyone came to my birthday to celebrate and i just told them like i'm leaving and i don't care what you said so i just left and i came to korea to be honest some people complain about korea a lot about most most of the stuff I'm not that kind of person. I loved, loved Korea from the first time that I just like arrived. And I didn't realize that Korea was the country of Daejanggum, like the, the that Korean drama. I didn't know. I was watching it when I was like eight years old and I thought it I thought it's Japanese because I didn't see similarities in China when I was there. So when I knew that she's from Korea and she was my idol, like I was, like all my life, I was seeing her as me. 
So I was like, oh my god, I'm in the right place. And also, I found out that, like, I didn't notice that in China, I was only eating Korean food. I didn't realize that. And I'm like, yes. If the food is what I love, I will never leave that country. So, number one thing that I love about Korea is food. I just love everything that they make. I don't eat pork because, yeah, I am Muslim, but it's my option, not I'm just following what is written. I don't like it, it smells bad, and then I know scientifically that it's bad for our health. So, um, health curious person, so yeah. And so number one is food, of course. Number two, freedom. Number three, technology. No, 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 not technology. I'm like, I don't care about technology because I don't even have a phone. This is my friend's phone that I borrow to record this video. I mean, internet, come on, Wi-Fi. 24 hours free Wi-Fi. Did I have this in my country? Did I have this in China? Yes, I did, I, have, I had it in China, but did I have it in my country? And thanks to Korea, I can upload videos. It would take me like three days to upload one video on YouTube. If you go back and see all my videos like four years ago or yeah, four years ago, I would upload them for, for a week. Yeah, but anyways, these are the stuff that I love about Korea. And one more thing I love is that there are so many opportunities here. Like, yeah, there is some kind of, I feel some kind of like, um, I will talk about negative stuff later, but opportunities are like, whoa, here. And the freedom, by freedom, I mean freedom to do like this kind of strange hair, freedom to wear anything that you want, freedom to walk and know that no one is going to look at your ass and say, hey, chick, you look great, or like, ooh, I love you, or blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that, that kind of freedom, I love it. And freedom to study, being a girl, and being equally compared, like they don't give a, uh, if you're a girl, they're like, you're studying here, here, so it's not fair to, like, yeah. Y you know what I mean, but anyways, um, this is what I love about Korea, and apparently, somehow, Korean music is really nice. Like, I don't talk about, uh, you know, those girl bands, or stuff like not my not it's not my style but what I mean is that they make such a like so different and like juicy songs their genres are like whoa like they have all the genres that you can think about and I love Hayes she is amazing if you don't know her please go and check because I thought that I'm the kind of person who only loves Christina Aguilera type of songs, but when I listened like Hayes, I was like, yes, I have this kind of soft side to me. Like I can listen and sing those kind of like very beautiful and like you know calm songs because I usually scream. Yeah, you can check my videos. Most of them are like ah, this kind of songs. So yeah, it was just amazing, and Korea is colorful like i was shook like i was shocked when i was like walking on campus and seeing people with like green red orange black yellow like all the colors of the rainbow hair and the clothes are like oh the, this korean style is just like killing me because like they can they wear stuff which is comfortable and they don't really care about like I don't know if they care or not, but it feels like they, re they they don't really care about like, I don't know, maybe it's just Korean style. Like you just wear whatever you have and it still looks good. Because like, I know that in some other countries, people will judge you by the way you wear or talk or like look. So I was like, yes. 
this is what I want. Yeah. And what else that I love? Of course, I'm just gonna cry now. This place. It's it's just a practice room for clubs to like practice their dances or whatever. I come here, oh my god, every day to sing. I didn't have this kind of freedom ever in my life. I would sing in showers or even in our house and then people would be knocking on other shut up like you're too loud or like just stop singing and i have a freedom right now it's 3 a.m in the morning and i can sing and no one is going to tell me to shut up isn't that great i think it's the best thing ever to do whatever you love to be free i don't hate my country Okay, so um, when I um, arrived to Korea, uh, what I didn't love is the weather. You know, like, I didn't really care about the weather when I, I was like, I'm going to Korea because I really wanted to get away. And, but when I arrived here, I was like, <gasps> Like, I thought I'm gonna die because the humidity level, I've never experienced, I didn't know that there is this kind of thing as humidity. You know, like in my country, it's so not humid that you don't have this kind of experience ever. So when I arrived, I was like, I thought I'm like, I'm going to lose like my consciousness and just die, pass out, but no. I got used to it and I really, I, I still don't like that summer can get so hot humid in Tajikistan when it's summer it's summer like you know it's hot and you're burning like your skin is like burning but here it's like you're sweating you're like pouring the rain from your body that's so horrible like I don't think that I can even wear something even if I don't like I cannot I don't feel comfortable but in summer actually I hate summer but Korea's Korean summer is like um, but what I love about Korean summer is that it rains it rains it feels so refreshing when when in the summer you have rain it's such a relief because in my country in summer never it never rains and oh my god if you if you have lived here for one year you can see all the colors spring has green yellow white and all those flowers and the cherry blossom like um cherry blossom for me is not something special because my grandma has a garden and we have real cherries real apricots and it's like blooming every spring and um i mean like this is so beautiful autumn Autumn is like the description of the pictures in the books, you know, it's so red and so orange, so beautiful. I love it. I just love it. These are my favorite seasons in Korea. Well, let's come to winter. Winter in um, Korea is very different depending on where are you located. So I am in South South, like real South in Ulsan. No snow no 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 snow never if it snows then it's going to like vanish in five minutes but it can get so damn cold i've never felt so cold in my whole life i lived in the north of china i lived in like a north pole kind of closer like in russia and there was like snow like up to like your knees and i've never felt so cold there than I feel here. Let me tell you why. The wind is crazy. The wind is crazy. Like you should protect yourself because that wind can like just cut you down. But I love it. I love cold weather. I really love it. I just don't like that it's dark because there is no snow. Okay, now let's talk about Eunice. I am so lucky to be here because this school provides me not only me but others too with everything you know everything tuition free scholarship 
yeah, three hundred dollars. Like yes. Um, internet free all the time. Water, water is free. Did you think that I bought it? Maybe I bought the water like many days ago, but I filled it out from those, you know, those stuff free. And I'm so grateful and people who are like, how can you love Eunice? And I'm like, how can I not? It provides me with everything. Why I should be like, oh, you know, there are a lot of like, I'm not judging you, but like, dude or girl, whatever. Like, it, like if you had better options, why did you come here? Like, if you don't like it, just go and stop complaining. Let people leave. Like, I mean, there are people who live like in countries which, who, like the countries that don't provide with anything. And for me or for people from those kind of countries, this is everything. Okay, and okay, I'm not so rich to study, I don't know, in better places or, but you're still here, right? You're with me, so if you don't like it, just go. Like, and people would say like, oh, like Ursan is so bad because it, it's like, you cannot go partying or stuff like, I came here to study, I don't party. I party only here. Here is my party room. I, for me, partying means singing. I sing here, right here. I don't need any other like clubs. I don't go to clubs. Why, why would I? I don't even go outside of Eunice, maybe once in a month. So if you're that kind of person, maybe I'm weird, but I don't know. I'm here. I didn't realize that I look so dark. I'm sorry, I don't have the lights here, but Okay, I look better now, right? Yeah, so um, to be honest, for me, Eunice was hard, especially. It was, no, let, let me let me make it clear. What was hard for me is the subjects that I didn't study in school, in high school, and I was expected to know them. So I felt the pressure. So here comes the negative part. You feel the pressure, you really feel the pressure. You feel like you should know this. You, you, yeah, that's the only thing. <laughs> so it's like when you enter, like when you're a freshman, everyone's like, you should have studied this in high school. You probably know this. This is like, what is it? Junior year, the high school. And I'm like, no, oh, people, I just studied math and the math that I've studied in high school is not something close to the calculus that you teach here. So I failed my first year, really. I was so, my first year was really, really, really hard. And I was afraid to like, to choose my major. And somehow, like there is a reason that I chose biology and people who knew me before like me coming to korea like in my country they would never believe that i would choose biology me never because it was the like the top course that i hated the most when i was in high school primary whatever like all those schools so i felt doo -doo 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 -doo. i felt really pressured not only from people like professors i felt the pressure i was pressuring myself because i was like oh my god i've never studied this biology really we we did but i never opened a book ever in my life yes if i don't like something i just don't i just don't do it mm -hmm. but um so i was like Oh my god these people they have studied this biology and for them probably the those like cell biology and stuff are too easy so and the pressure is that you get the grade depending on average so knowing that you're studying with koreans and you're like oh ho, ho, i'm opening this biology and seeing this terms for the first time in my life. of course i knew what is photosynthesis who doesn't? I mean, if you don't know 
I'm not judging you. I can I can feel you. Um, why did I do that? <clears throat> so I was afraid and I was pushing too hard and actually I think it helped me to survive because I was putting so much like a pressure on myself I was working too hard for accomplishing better results so I, I kind of survived and <laughs> I got like good grades from biology but other courses that I so here is the, the thing like I'm the person who is if I don't like something or if I know that I don't need that stuff I will not study it I will not do it I will not study it I will like kill me I will not do it so if you check my grades <laughs> there are some stuff like you can actually see the pattern I like this course or I don't like it I need to drink I'm so sorry I'm never gonna change I'm never gonna trade so yeah it was hard and I changed my mind like in Unist what's cool is that you get two diplomas and you choose major and minor degree kind of course so my major is biological science my minor for now <laughs> yeah for now and for for forever probably is management but before this I was changing my minor and my major I think I did no didn't I was changing it like each semester kind of because I couldn't find what I really liked uh, first it was energy then it became chemistry and then I think I stopped on bio management because uh, I finally figured out that like last year in 2018 I figured out that I really want to continue my life doing the thing that I've been doing all my life like since I was 11 cosmetics so I was like what can be what can be better than like biology knowing what's happening with the skin and what's happening inside the like cosmetic product and management like being able to manage your business so this is how we're going to next chapter which is what I am doing apart from uh, studying so from last year when i decided what i wanted to do i took it really seriously i took those management courses which were actually they are hard because you should memorize stuff no no, no. like the first course that i took from management was probably the like the highest i think it was operations management and it had stuff related to technology and programming i was i suck at it but anyway, so I took it seriously and I started working on some kind of like a project. It was um, so it was something like a club, but not official. So it was it named Beauty Jam, where we would um, kind of explain everything related to health, skin, body, mindset, and stuff. And we, we have a Facebook group where uh, we did some posts about like this topics and then we would kind of organize beauty gym parties once once a month where people would come and uh, have like have mostly girls have fun and like discuss some beauty related stuff together for example we did 10 steps in skincare routine and we explained everything like what should go first and second and why so this kind of stuff it was interesting but then um, I kind of decided to start my own startup first it was more like a helping people to understand how to take care of their skin to not have breakouts like especially teenagers but somehow like this ideas were i was afraid that we will not be able to pass so here comes the good part again so when i said korea has a lot of opportunities i meant it for example in our school we have this program called unicorn project where where you apply for a like for 
for funding and for office and if you pass they will give you a space where you can work and then they will give you some funding some money to do your work <sighs> and I was really afraid that my idea won't work so I was like thinking 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 then I came up with idea of personalized cosmetics handmade organic personalized cosmetics in the this part not the face because you know like there are so many products and it's this skin here is the hardest one to work with so I was like no 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 let's let's start from here the body and then move up and the hair is the hardest one if you didn't know to to like formulate stuff for or to make products because it's really hard and I know about it so I was like okay let's make handmade organic products specifically for you and we got accepted and here comes the negative part yes um, they said that we accepted your application because you're so passionate and your energy is so good so we believe in you and stuff but your idea is not unique yeah maybe it's not unique but still yeah and the problem that I'm talking about right now is that I really feel discriminated by some professors so I don't know like I don't want to talk about it because maybe it's I think it's like it's more of a personal character rather than like the cultural stuff because I don't feel discriminated at all like maybe just a little bit but it's more because of the language barrier but yeah I don't feel discriminated except for this situation that I had that I don't really want to talk about here until everything gets well but the thing is we got accepted we have our office I can make a tour of my office and uh, we ordered a bunch of stuff so I am formulating and thinking about different products for different people like for different skin types I chose the body because I have very 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 sensitive skin so even if the water touches my skin it feels like it's dying like I feel like tightness and it's like drying so bad so I was like no I need to I need to make stuff for like you know specifically for people because some people don't really care even if you like spill acid on them they're like ah, I don't feel any pain I'm just joking but you got my point so yeah I'm really happy for that and this is what was happening until this semester and uh, soon I'm going to live to Hong Kong for exchange program which is free and one more good stuff is that our school Eunice has um, partnership with other universities and if you pass you gonna have free tuition you just need to pay for your um, flight and a dorm and is free isn't that great and we still get the scholarship during the vacation so this is how I survive here uh, my parents my mom doesn't send me like if she does but I don't take her money because I don't need because I have and what I'm trying to say is that you can survive here I feel more like I'm living here than surviving whereas in my country I would feel like I'm surviving like you know that feeling that you're like trying so hard and nothing is happening and you're like oh you need to come up with another plan here I feel like I'm living because because I have all the options if it doesn't work I have another door I have another door and so on if it like I told you Korea has a lot of opportunities for everyone for every for this girl with this white Elsa hair everyone so and I don't know Korean I'm really ashamed that I don't know Korean but I really really want to learn it but I somehow as I told you if I don't want no one will force me no not, not even me I I want it no 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 let me make it clear I want to know Korean but I don't really want to study because it's so hard it's so so hard 
So here is the thing, Korean language is extremely hard. It's so hard. Maybe because I didn't take intensive courses or I'm not persistent, but I think if I take my stuff, like my myself together, I can do it, but because I don't want to study it, I, yeah. So my plan for next semester is to graduate. And am I planning to stay Korea? Hell yes, hell yes, I am staying in Korea. I am further developing my startup, changing some ideas, improving some stuff, and working hard. Am I applying for graduate school? I want to, did I start applying? Not yet, did I look up for schools? Not yet, but I know that I want to go to Seoul, apply to Seoul universities, because most of the opportunities are there, and it's not because I want to party there, it's because there are many opportunities for like working and developing yourself individually, mentally, or whatever, whatever you take from it. So yeah, I hope to see you soon. I really hope to, I really want to do this vlog of my, like a tour of my office. If you, re if you want this, please let me know in comments yeah here's the thing if you have any questions and if you want me to do some kind of like other videos about Eunice or about Korea please please leave your comments so that I can see and know what to do next because I can just random pop up and say stuff that you didn't ask for because sometimes I feel like I want to talk about stuff and I don't really know if people want to see this kind of videos uh-huh and if you want me to do in another in another language like Tajik or Russian, yeah, please write good comments, not like, yeah, you know, there are bad comments that I cannot stand. Yeah, uh, that's about it. I'm sorry if it took too long, and thank you for staying with me here. Uh, just to let you know. I love to sing as you already know and I have like videos of me singing so go ahead and check them out let me know what music do you like and let me know if you are already in Korea or you are planning to come to Korea if you're planning to come to Korea come but don't complain because you get what you no 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 I'm sorry you get actually yeah you get what you want and if you don't like it just try out something else and don't complain will your country give you this much opportunities i don't know in my case no so come you're gonna love it um let me know if you have any other question until next time see ya bye saranghae yes this is hard in korean bye 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 bye